All right, we're back. I'm a day late. I'm sorry. I was dealing with, hopefully not, another clot in the leg. We're going to find out about that soon. Stay tuned. They'd see if I die. Such a bad joke to make. <laughs> but yes, we are back, and I told you guys I would get you this video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, apparently, Austin McBroom might have around and accidentally leaked the fact that KSI not only is fighting Alex Wasabi, but he's going to do so in the summer. I was a little bit iffy on this because trusting Austin McBroom is like trusting a meth head's opinion on drugs. Yeah, he makes it sound nice, but then you look at him and you see the missing teeth and you probably shouldn't can do it. Now, I think Austin might actually be right here, and we're going to talk about why, but the funnier part of this and the part I'm really going to dive into is he got baited into basically giving up his asking price for events, which now tells us why Austin can't be booked or hasn't been booked for a fight from anyone outside of the promotion that he built on basically paper straws and thin air, which eventually came crumbling down like his pay-per-view sales numbers, but I'm gonna get into it all, so don't worry. Hit the sub button. We are getting KSI Alex Wasabi, possibly in the summer, and why Austin McBroom is the only person keeping him from fighting. I'll explain. The breakdown... Let's go. But like I've been telling you guys, if you follow me on Twitter, again, if you're not following, you're missing some of the grade A content that you don't get on the YouTube. Follow the Twitter, at Wade Plim. But I have been telling you guys, something big is coming down the line for KSI. Obviously, the rumblings of Alex Wasabi, KSI, KSI even accepting that fight and saying, yeah, let's do it. I'll even lose all the weight, do it for free. We know these YouTubers, and we know that they sometimes say things that they don't necessarily mean, or it doesn't come to fruition, or people's asking price becomes too much. More on that in a second. But out of nowhere, Mams Taylor, who I guess is one of KSI's managers. I'm not exactly sure his title, but I know he works with KSI really closely. He came out on Twitter and basically said this. Mushroom tip. <laughs> I think it's just the mushroom, not the... Never mind. If Mushroom wants to fight anyone, he has to stop negotiating like he taught Mayweather how to fight. So far, he's full of cap. Full of that cap. Hopefully soon he'll come down to earth and realize no one's paying him a gazillion dollars to fight. Then Austin came back on his Instagram story and said this, Since KSI's manager is full of shit going around telling people they offered me a deal and the reason why we're not fighting is because I asked for too much, period, that's not a... Okay, it wasn't a sentence, but all right. If that's the case, before KSI signs the deal to fight Alex for August, okay, sign the deal with me and I'll fight for the same deal you're going to give Alex. You won't do that though. And mama, <laughs> he's talking about Mams Taylor. It's pretty fucking funny. Since you think you're so tough online, how about you fight my pops, you scary ass? Okay, first off, just the wording of that is fucking hilarious. But we get a lot of information there, right? One, he drops the gold gem here out of nowhere, Randy in Orton style that KSI and Alex will be fighting or are potentially looking to fight in August and that is a bombshell because not only are we talking about now KSI coming off a repl I think replacement dates for his tour in May that only gives him June July and then we're in August so two months of training camp for an August fight is not a lot of time. I've told you guys this, KSI had better be taking Alex seriously because the last thing you want to do is try to shoehorn a fight in with Alex Wasabi before you then go and try to fight later in the year with Austin just to get that warm-up in. You better give Alex the right amount of time. I'm not saying he's a world beater, that he's going to smash KSI, or even that he's going to beat him. I still think KSI should win the Alex Wasabi fight pretty cleanly. It becomes a bit of a more competitive fight than it probably should be because you are taking away KSI's ability to train for an ample amount of time for that fight. But let's go back to that first part of the message. So Austin takes that tweet. He puts out this, this message saying they're full of shit. They never offered a deal. Mams Taylor never talked about offering you a deal in that tweet. It was bait and Austin took it made that message on Instagram, and then <laughs> we got an exposure that was better than the fucking light I have on my face right now because Mams Taylor put a text message from Austin's dad that says Alan M, obviously Alan McBroom. Thank you to the YouTube Boxing Twitter who used all the filters and got this to be somewhat readable. And this is what the message said. Austin is definitely interested, just afraid we might be too far apart on the deal. He would need to have the following, and that looks like a two, I'm hoping that's a two and not a three million guarantee, 500 K upon signing one point it looks like if that's going to be three million at the top that would be 1.5 in escrow aka half of his payment in escrow makes sense 20 something percent of all sponsorships and another double digit number of all sponsorships that Austin would bring 
to the table. Oh my God. So if Austin's event, even though it was projected to do $62 million in revenues, did 6.5 million, as an individual, he's now asking for two, maybe three, depending on what that number actually says, million dollars guaranteed. This is not anywhere close to Austin's actual worth as a YouTube boxer. It shows Austin knows his worth, knows it's nowhere fucking close to that number and inflated it more than a child's bouncy house at their fifth fucking birthday party. Austin, because he's a Jake Paul clone wannabe, sees Jake get that kind of money and says, oh, well, I'm worth it too, because, well, that's the price you would have to ask to pay back all the investors and talent from the first fight. It's not necessarily what Austin's worth, but it's what he needs to climb his way out of debt. I don't mean to just completely rip all over McRib, but the fact that he thinks $3 million is his worth when we've already seen Austin as a draw in the boxing realm is basically a cardboard boat slapped together with fucking masking tape and put in the water. In other words, he doesn't sell. Just... <laughs> Just doesn't make sense to me why anyone believes that he'd be worth that and then the cherry on top of this whole fucking sweet ass exchange this message sent from austin's dad wasn't sent to mams taylor wasn't sent to ksi's people and i have a funny fucking feeling i know who it was sent to just because of my dealings behind the scenes with a certain team out in the uk called showstar folks this message wasn't the numbers to fight ksi these were the numbers to fight Gibb in the main event. I remember talking with the Showstar media guys about how this was a fight that was a possibility on the Showstar card early when I came on board and how they could not come close to affording Austin McBroom's asking price. Now with that information, just imagine the asking price for Austin McBroom in a KSI fight. What in God's name would he ask for then? 10 mil guaranteed, a new house because the state now owns his old one, and for KSI to sing Don't Play while he's actively fighting Austin in the ring for uh, some sort of advantage. I'm throwing shit at the wall here, kind of like Austin McBroom's business ideas. I don't know. And Austin can work on being a draw, right? He can find ways to promote himself better. He goes out and gets a win versus Gibb, which does seem like it is the fight they're still trying to work on. But I gotta be honest, KSI Alex in the main event, Austin and Gibb in the co-main for a Wasserman KSI boxing card in August. Sign me the f*** up. That will be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, depending on who they get on the undercard after that. Salt Poppy's out there. Bryce Hall's out there. You could throw him on with Deji. That would be a fun fight. And if you needed a commentator that was not only knowledgeable, but energetic and would inject some life back into this commentary scene... Uh here <laughs> so uh yeah there you go man let me know what you guys think down below this thing's unraveling faster than toilet paper when i have to drop a big deuce i'm talking early morning coffee deuce bruh but like i said you guys let me know down below is this alex wasabi ksi fight heating up is it actually going to happen in august again it looks like the answer is yes without actually confirming that the answer is yes and is austin mcbroom going to be able to convince anyone that he's worth three million dollars two million dollars one million dollars or is he gonna have to pick up the pieces of social scam, put the foundation and build it back with paper mache just to watch it crumble again and run away with another big payday? I don't have those answers, but it seems like soon, very soon, I guess we'll find out.